Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSide Studio, and welcome back to your 16th Java programming tutorial. So, today we're going to be learning about something called a for loop. Now, a for loop is another type of loop, and you use this a lot in programming. I know I use it like pretty much every program that I make uh, requires some sort of use of a for loop, um, especially when you're using arrays. Now, you guys don't know what arrays are yet, but essentially what they are is um, a variable name that can hold more than one um, value in it. But we'll learn about that later, so don't worry about that. We're gonna be using the for loop in a very basic context today, so um, yeah, let's get started. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta know one keyword for the for loop. So uh, it's actually four. So next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna put down your brackets, and then inside of here, we're gonna have three main parts of the for loop. The first thing we gotta do is we gotta make a variable to start our loop. So we're gonna go int, and then we're gonna name our variable. I Usually the um, the way they do it is they name it i, I don't know why, but that's what they do. Um, then just set it equal to zero. And then, every time you're done a chunk of your for loop, you terminate it with a semicolon. So the next thing you gotta do is you gotta tell the for loop how long, uh, to what number do you want i to go to? So we're going to say i is less than 10. Next thing we want to do is we're going to want to tell the for loop how many um, numbers do they want to increment each time it goes through the for loop. So let's just say we want i to go up once every time we go through the for loop. So we're going to just go i plus plus, like we learned in the incrementation video. Um, then all we have to do is we just need to end with a curly bracket and a closing curly bracket. Uh, I don't know if I've showed you this, but if you hold hit Alt Shift F, um, it formats your code for you, and it makes it neater. Uh, I probably did tell you that already, so I'm sounding pretty dumb right now. But anyway, um, so yeah, there's our whoops, there's our for loop right there. So basically, what it's gonna do right now if we ran it, um, it doesn't do anything <laughs> because. Um, yeah, well, we haven't told it to do anything yet because we have to put something in the body of the um, the for loop. So let's do that right now. Let's just print something out. So go s out tab, and then let's print out the number uh, i. So just stick i in there, and if we run this, as you can see, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So as you can see, the for loop uh, just starts at zero. Or sorry, <laughs> there we go. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we told this for loop to start at zero, and then keep looping until it's less than ten. So until it gets to nine, and every time it gets to the bottom of this for loop, it's going to increment i by one. So it runs through this ten times. Um, we could change around this for loop so we could go i is equal to let's say five or something, and if we ran this. As you can see, it starts at five this time, goes to six, seven, eight, nine. And we could even change this. We could change this to say eight and run it. And it starts at five and goes until seven because it's less than eight. And uh, we could change the incrementation value. So let's change this to like zero, change this to 10. And we could go, let's say, let's use a short form here, our plus equals two. If you guys don't know that short form, you probably skipped my tutorial a uh, ways back. I don't, I don't know which one it is, but I'm sure you can find it. Uh, let's just run this. So 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 goes up by 2's now. So yeah, that's about it uh, for for loops. We'll be You'll see why these uh, this type of loop is useful later when we get into arrays and stuff. And it's actually used a lot in games, especially when you're like loading images into your program. It's a very efficient way of doing that. So yeah. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.